Hi, I'm Fred Bergeron. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I will show you how to add an RTSP camera or NVR channel to the Ajax user app. In this example, I'm going to use a Legend NVR and channel number one to show you how it's done. Every manufacturer will have or may have a different syntax for the RTSP stream. In today's example, as I said before, we'll use the Legend NVR uh, RTSP stream, which is also valid for a camera. So as an example, the RTSP stream will require the username and the password, the IP address of the camera or NVR, the port number for RTSP, which is something you can define, um, but the default is 554 for both cameras and NVRs. And then we have to select the channel number. If it's a single camera, the channel will be number one. If it's, let's say, a 16 channel or 32 channel NVR, you will have to specify the correct channel for this camera that you want to add to the Ajax app. And then also there's a stream number, whether if you want to use the high resolution stream, which is number one, or the low resolution stream, which is number two. Now let's open the Ajax app and I will show you how it's done. So from the app, you need to go to Devices, select Add Device, and then Add Camera. In this example, we'll use RTSP Stream. Give the camera a name. Let's say Demo number one. The link is as we described earlier. Okay, so you know the username, password, port number, channel number and stream number. But we'll put the link in the description below so you know the syntax and you can apply this to other sites or uh, you know several different client sites or cameras and NVRs. You need to select a room that must be created previously in, in your uh, Ajax system in the hub. And then we can save the changes. If the system successfully connects to the camera, you will see a push notification saying that this new camera was added successfully but it won't work right away. There's also another steps that basically allowing, is allowing the users to view the camera feed. So for instance, if you're an end user, you can allow the installer to create the camera for you, all right? But obviously you may not want the installer to see the camera feed or the camera live images. So in this case, you will only allow yourself and other people in the house or you know, company to view the channel. So for this, you need to go to the hub settings under privacy and then users you select one of the users you know who you want to give access to the to the camera and then you select the the camera itself and the view camera stream you enable the option then when you go back to the main page where the devices are listed right under the devices tab you see that you can now view the camera um, from the list and you are allowed to view the channel live Depending on where the camera is, it's going to take probably maybe 10 to 15 seconds for the camera to show up. Right? Here you go. As you've seen again today, the Ajax system is a very flexible system. The application is completely free and we've been able to connect an RTSP camera in a matter of seconds and that applies to any camera or NVR that allows RTSP uh, connectivity uh, out of the box. All right. So please, if you have any comments, send them below. We'll be more than happy to help you. And then if you have any suggestions for future tutorial videos, we will listen to you and make them. Thank you for watching. See you soon.